everybody. Welcome to your hand foot timing video. Um, hand foot timing is um, the way we take our hand techniques and get our end position timed with either a step or a landing from a kick so that they are simultaneous. Okay, it could even be a weight distribution. For example, I shift my weight back at the same time I punch it is landing into place. So that's what hand foot timing is. If you're a higher ranked student, um, that probably feels pretty second nature to you. If you are a brand new student, this might be difficult and tricky. That takes some practice, okay? So we're gonna start basic, but I'm gonna give you a couple challenges that high ranks for sure will be able to do, and beginners certainly can try some of it. Are you ready to start? <laughs> okay, we're gonna start pretty easy. I'm gonna scoot way back so you can see my feet. We're gonna start with punches as we step out to the side. So I'm gonna land and punch. I'm actually doing two punches. I'm gonna take that same foot and step together and do two more punches as I land. And I'm gonna step out and two punches together. Punch, punch, out, together, and continue. Start to smooth it out as you go. Go as fast or slow as you need to. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me. Don't feel like you have to go as slow as me. <laughs> but I do want you to focus on getting that timing correct. This is also a pretty good little warm-up. <laughs> good, go ahead and give your arms a rest. How'd that go? Hopefully not too hard. Um, if you need more practice on that, you can certainly pause the video and do a few more. Okay, so we're going to keep our side-to-side -side motion going with our feet. Now this time we're going to do a knife hand strike as we land. One thing you're going to notice as you get better at hand foot timing is you're going to see that when you get it right, um, it actually adds some power and even some stability to your hand techniques. Okay, so let's try it. We're going to do a knife hand strike, and we're going to step into it. Then we're going to bring your feet together, wrap up, and go the other way. So wrap up, step in knife hand, and continue. Practices on those, you can pause the video, continue to do more. If you're ready to move on, we're going to keep going with knife hands, but they're going to look a little different. We're going to do two knife hands at once. It's called a twin knife hand strike. Um, disciplined form, which a lot of our beginners are doing right now, has that technique at the end of the form. First degree black belts also have that same technique at the end of their form. Okay, so this one is a good one to know. <laughs> okay, let's try it. So, instead of going side to side, I'm actually going to step into a front stance. So let's practice that first. I'm just alternating the leg that comes forward. I'm putting my weight on my front leg. You'll notice I'm stepping at a little bit of an angle instead of straight forward. If I step straight forward, it'll be like I'm on a tightrope, it's hard to balance. But when I step out to the side, I can line up my feet with my hips and I have a lot more stability. Okay, now let's add our hand technique. We're going to wrap up our arms, step, and strike right as we land. Your hands come right out to the sides. Great, keep it up. A few more. And keep going. If you would like to add the spin to it, it's a, just an option for higher ranks or people who maybe want a little bit more challenge. It's going to look like this. If you don't want to do the spin, just keep going on what we're practicing. Okay, so after you do your strike, um, you're going to turn to your back. Whenever we do spins, pretty much you're turning to your back. And you're going to just step out the other way. <laughs> turn to your back and step and strike. Turn to your back, step and strike. Continue that motion. Hopefully you can see that okay in the video. <laughs> and that was a little bit tricky to show with limited space. Do your best. Okay. 
Do those until you're nice and dizzy. <laughs> so that is a twin knife hand strike, landing into that front stance. If you're doing um, discipline for beginners, that comes right after your round kick. You turn to your back, just like we were practicing. You want to time that step. Okay. So at this point, it would be great if anybody who has this technique in their form can maybe pause the video and practice that a few times. Okay. Otherwise, we are moving on. Um, just one more pointer on hand-foot timing. We're going to do some more of this next week. But anytime you have a kick, like for example, a front kick, and you have a technique following that, like a punch. You want to time that landing. So that your punch and your kick finish at the same time. Okay. That's going to give a little bit more power to your technique. Um, you'll notice if I do it wrong, maybe I land first, then strike. <laughs> it's going to be clunky. The timing is going to feel very awkward. So just something to practice. We're going to hit that a little bit more next week. Okay, so we're going to do a little sparring um, footwork. If you are doing these videos in order, last week we did the V step, which is kind of our angle steps. We kind of did something similar to that with our twin knife hand strikes a minute ago. Okay, but now we're going to go more forward and back. These are also great options for sparring because uh, someone's coming at you like a freight train sometimes. Just for our safety, we just gotta get back. <laughs> okay, if somebody is open, we gotta take advantage of that and move in. So, how do we do that with hand foot timing? Um, whenever you're landing that front foot, that is your time right there. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of similar to how we did our forms technique. This is more of the application of it. Okay, so for those of you who might be new to sparring footwork, let's try shuffling forward. You take your back foot, bring it to your front, and step forward. Okay, then we're going to go straight back. Take your front foot, bring it to your back foot, and then step back with the other foot. <laughs> so I'm going right to left, and then left to right. Right to left, and left to right. So practice that. Just go forward and back. Back foot, front foot. Front foot, back foot. You want to do it as smoothly as you can so that you're not bouncing up and down like this. <laughs> you want to look effortless. Okay. Once you feel comfortable with that, we're going to go ahead and add our hand techniques. Okay. So we're going to kind of apply our hand foot timing like this. We're going to disguise that back foot stepping as we come forward. We're going to do a back fist, or if you're brand new, maybe try a punch there. And as we land, that's a, uh, the arm that's going to score, that's going to be our punch. Okay? So again, coming forward, your back foot is going to step, and at the same time, our back fist is going to disguise that step. And then we're going to see it coming, and you land, and you're going to punch. Have a sneaky way to move forward. Okay? Again, slow. Your back foot steps forward. Back fist, or if you're brand new, do a punch. Step forward and time your punch as you land. Okay, so a little bit faster is going to be like that. Okay, so just try moving forward a little bit. Don't worry about moving back too much. Just get used to this. Get that timing down. Let's do it about five more times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how'd that work? You can pause the video and do the other side if you want. Otherwise, we're moving on. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to do the step back. So it's going to work the same way. My front foot is going to slide back at the same time. I'm disguising that by doing a back fist with my front arm. And as my back foot lands, I'm going to snap out that punch. Okay, again. I'm going to disguise my step back, land a punch as my weight falls onto that back leg. Okay, again. Back fist as my front foot steps. 
Or again, beginners do a punch if you want to. Land back and punch. Okay, just a little faster. Okay, let's try a few of those back steps. Ready, and one. And two. timing. We're now going to put it all together. We're going to shuffle forward, back fist punch, shuffle back, back fist punch. Even if you're a high rank student, practicing this timing mindfully is going to really help your sparring. So here we go. Ready? Shuffle forward, back fist punch, shuffle back, back fist punch, forward, back, and continue at your own pace. Make sure you're timing that back fist with the step. Time your punch as you land. I'll just start kind of swinging arms around. <laughs> So let's give you a little bit more of an advanced technique. So on this one, we're going to start the same. We're going to do your back fist. And as you punch, you're going to use that to the sky as your knee coming up. And jump front kick. It doesn't have to be a front kick. It could be a jump crescent kick or round kick, whatever you want to throw there. The jump front kick is a great way to start. So again, back fist. Disguises that moving in, that step forward. As you punch, you're going to bring that knee up very smoothly and jump front kick. So it should all flow together. And I just did the wrong leg. <laughs> Let's try it again on the right leg. <laughs> okay, so back fist, punch, jump front kick. <laughs> Alright, practice that. Woo! <laughs> okay. So, let me know if you have any trouble or questions with your hand foot timing. There's going to be more next week. This is just the basics. Um, we're going to have a workout with Ms. Boucher, and she is going to take it the next level. So, students, enjoy that. Have fun. Um, make it your own. Feel free to change it up with some different techniques that you like. And uh, don't forget to apply this to your forms as well. And get some hand foot timing going. And... Uh, have fun with it. So let's bow. Enjoy your workout.